Essential Parts of Theodolite Let us see the essential parts of theodolite used for surveying. The telescope is an integral part of the theodolite and is mounted on a spindle known as horizontal axis or true neon axis. True neon axis. The upper plate or vernier plate is attached to the inner axis and carries two verniers with magnifiers at two extremities diametrically opposite. The upper plate carries two plate levels placed at right angles to each other. Two standards resembling the lever A are mounted on the upper plates. The trunian axis of the telescope is supported on this. The vertical circle is rigidly attached to the telescope and moves with it. The leveling head usually consists of two parallel triangular plates known as tri brack plates. Setting over the station. Let us see how instrument is set up over the station point. The marking on the ground shows the station point. Place the instrument over the station by spreading the tripod legs. The close view of plumb bob shows the plumb is not in level. To bring the plumb bob exactly over the station mark, move the tripod legs radially and approximately level the instrument. Press the legs firmly into the ground. Leveling up. In this video, we are going to see about leveling up a theodolite. Set up the theodolite such that the longitudinal axis of the upper plate level is roughly parallel to a line joining any two, that is, such as A and B, of the leveling screw. Turn the leveling screw A and B uniformly. The bubble will move in the direction of rotation of leveling screw. Leveling up upper plate bubble After leveling up lower plate bubble, the upper plate bubble should be checked for level. Turn the leveling screw C until the bubble at the upper plate is central. Measurement of horizontal angle. Let us see how horizontal angle is measured using theodolite. For example, consider we are going to measure the horizontal angle PQR. Set the instrument at station point Q. Adjust the plate screw to move the theodolite horizontally. Set vernier to zero and the vertical circle is to the left. The reading on vernier B will be 180 degree. If there is no instrument error, cite the station P, rotate the instrument clockwise about the inner axis to bisect the point R. The reading of vernier A gives the angle PQR 
directly while the vernier B gives by detecting 180 degree. Change the phase by transiting the telescope and repeat the whole process. The average horizontal angle is then obtained by taking the mean of the two readings with different phases. Measurement of vertical angle Let us see the procedure to measure the vertical angle. Vertical angle is the angle between the inclined line of sight and horizontal line. How to measure the height of building? Vertical angles are used to measure the height of building. Set up the instrument and level it accurately with reference to the altitude bubble. Set the zero of the vertical vernier exactly to the zero of the vertical circle by means of the vertical circle clamp and tangent screw. Loosen the vertical circle clamp and direct the telescope towards the top of the building. Read the vernier. Change the phase of the instrument and repeat the process. The mean of two vernier readings gives the second value of the required angle.